Hey boys and girls, welcome back. It's me, Keith, the Misprint Guy, and welcome to a special edition. So now, what do I have for you this week? Well, as uh, some of you did, uh, I went to Gen Con, and I picked up a lot of really cool and interesting misprints, but one of the things that I did not get a chance to do because I was only there in the evening, I did not get a chance to go into the dealer's area. And one of the things that they have are a lot of spectacular artists from Magic the Gathering and other games. And one of my favorite artists is Mark Poole. And I did not get a chance to meet him, and I usually see him every couple of years and go, Hey, look what I have. These are all these cool misprints that I have, and a lot of them have his artwork. So, because I did not get a chance to meet him, I was able to talk to him briefly, and I promised him I would do a video of all Mark Poole misprints. So, about 95% of what I'm going to share with you today are Mark Poole misprints. So, hey, I just wanted to f fulfill my promise and share Mark my misprints and those of you not named Mark Poole don't worry I have some new things and some old things to share with you if you've watched my other videos so uh, I apologize though because the way I had to do it I mean and the sound isn't that great but you are gonna see a lot of new and old things so just stay tuned and uh, let me get started alright okay these are dark playtest cards and they feature all of your artwork uh, this one even more specifically because you drew on it and drew Boba Fett. And one of the more interesting ones right here is Green Thumb, which ended up being Gaius Touch. And then Eternal Flame, all older cards that you probably haven't seen much of lately. And here's a much more basic card. I'm sure you've seen plenty of crimps, but this one is Goblin Ski Patrol, which is one of my personal favorites. It's just such a goofy, weird card and, you know, goblins flying through the air. And then here we have Balance. This is probably one of my best uh, crimps as far as older cards and playable cards. Balance is one of my favorite cards. It's crimped along the bottom there, and obviously you have seen that one. This is something that I picked up recently. This is a basic land, and what happened was it looks like the cellophane for the pack got stuck in there. This is smooth along here, and this is the only one that I have like that. Now I'm sure you know by now that Alpha has more rounded corners and everything else has different types of corners but this is a mistake in which these are 4th edition cards and the corners are cut like Alpha cards. All of the commons and uncommons were printed like that including this stream of life here. Now this is not your artwork obviously but these are 8th edition test print cards in which they were trying to figure out what the new cards would look like. I know the majority of the cards that you have done are the old uh, test, but uh, this is something a little bit new and interesting, and so far as I know, they don't have any of those. Now, here's a card that, well, could have been your artwork, but we'll never know, huh? Now, one of the more basic things that I'm sure we've seen are cards that are looking like this. I mean, we have cards that are miscut. This is one of the better ones that you have seen. This is what the back looks like. I have several of these, but this is the only one I have of your artwork. This one's kind of neat because it shows a lot of the information. It's the edge of a sheet, so that's what it looks like on the back. And it only took me a few minutes to find several more. I know I have plenty, but there's just a few. Here's one that I really appreciate because my other favorite artist is Ron Spencer. So why am I showing you this? because you're on the opposite side so I'm thrilled to have my two favorite artists on the exact same card. Now this does not feature your artwork but they do exist and I've been trying to track them down. This is an uncommon printed over a common and this is also Fallen Empires. Now here's something a little bit interesting because what they did was they invited the top 16 magic players in the world to play at an invitational and they gave everyone these cards which was 90 different cards and they all costed or cost more or less and here we go this is Scarwood Bandits which unfortunately is the only card that they did of yours now this I've had forever and I think you've seen it because it's not going to really show up so well on the camera but this is an eye for an eye and it is blurry now here's something that I know I did not have the last time I saw you uh, at least I did not have any of your artwork. These are Fallen Empire Commons and they have the wrong game on the back. I'm not very familiar with Wyvern so I don't even know I mean, how they handled that with artists and stuff. For all I know you could have drawn Wyvern. Now I know again you've probably seen a lot of crimps but this one uh, stands out because it was crimped down the card 
and exactly how something like that happens is just like this. You know, you have a pack and it gets sealed in the back, so this card is uh, crimped like that and it's even, I mean, it's bent quite a bit. Now I've had this one forever, so I think you've probably seen it, but this is a power sink. Back in the day, power sink used to be a really good card. Now I don't see it played as much, but I've always been fond of that artwork. Now here is something that I've been trying to track down of your artwork. This does not have your art on it, but these are Antiquities Uncommons that are printed without black on the back. And of course, I still have my Alpha Playtest cards that I showed you years ago, and I still have every single one that I've showed you in, at, at that time, because I have not picked up any, and I have not gotten rid of anything that has your artwork, so I still have everything that you might remember seeing and I know we had talked about trying to figure out what exactly the art was there on Stream of Life and I've showed it to I don't know how many people and no one seems to know what that is and of course the Ancestral Memory which became Ancestral Recall so there you go now here's something that I know that I did not have at the time these are unlimited cards and these are rares and I know you're thinking well uh, that's not my artwork. Well, not on that side, but this side we have cards printed over top of each other and we have an Antiquities Uncommon and an Unlimited Common. And with the Unlimited cards they had considered making them gray bordered instead of white bordered. So I have these weird cards with your art and other people's art as well and uh, so far I've been able to find three different ones with your art. So here we have Death Ward and something else. And then here I have Wild Growth and something else. Now I know you've seen plenty, because I've seen plenty that have been signed by you. But this is Summer, and we have some commons and uncommons here. And then Last but not least, I might as well show you another neat and interesting card that is not of your art. This is a card in which the corner of a entire sheet got folded under before any printing took place and it ended up looking like that. So I have a few other things and I'll probably just email you some photos, but this is everything that I have found of your artwork. And uh, so um, I hope you enjoyed watching all of this. So, And as for everybody else, take care and I will talk to you soon.